So here we have the uh, DV411. This unit was once the property of the Atomic Energy Commission. This is the Sandia Corporation. This would have been located down near Albuquerque, New Mexico, near the Sandia Mountains uh, and Kirtland Air Base. Have no idea what this uh, divider was used for there, but uh, it's a precision divider for a decade. Uh, as we're going to see in a few minutes, it works very well. My best guess, uh, based on the fact that its, it's uh, manufacturer is listed as Electroscientific Industries, I believe it's switched from uh, uh, a previous name uh, to ESI back around 1960. So I'm going to say that this unit was manufactured somewhere between 60 and 70 is my guess. Um, there was a Model A that came out after, after this model. It's a lot more modern looking, but I believe it came out in the 70s, sometime mid-70s, something like that. Maximum input voltage on this is 750 volts. It has 100,000 ohms total resistance, uh, which is supposed to be within 0.05%. has a linearity of 0.005%. Remarkable linearity. Very heavy, weighs about 10 pounds, has a nice uh, cast iron base uh, to hold it down, uh, cork feet, has a little um, handle on the side to uh, increase the resistance for tilt. Um, connect this unit up to a precision uh, uh, voltage source and you have yourself an adjustable four decade power supply that you could use for calibrating uh, any number of uh, moldy meters or anything requiring precision voltage. Uh, the one caveat is that uh, any Kelvin Varley uh, divider expects that you're going to use a, uh, uh, a high uh, resistance input uh, a device that you're going to feed a, a device that's going to draw extremely low current negligible current, in fact, in order to uh, provide the properties of the voltage division through the kelvin varley uh, scheme. So, let's give it a test. Well, here we have the DV411 connected as a resistor. We're measuring total resistance across the divider. And on my Fluke 8810 right now, I'm getting 99,000 993 ohms. So I am 7 ohms out of 100,000 and uh, I think that puts me at like 0.003% and this thing is rated at 0.05% so you know let's uh, let's just bear in mind that the fluke is likely to be off uh, in that you know a few ohms in that uh, range but it's uh, certainly within spec according to the fluke, so. So much for the resistance test. All right, we've got the DV411, Calvin Varley voltage divider, connected up to a power source running through a precision regulated um, two part per million 10 volt power supply. Or a regulator. So then we take the output of the DV411 into this Fluke 8810A multimeter and we are displaying right at the moment 10.0000 volts. We are on our maximum settings on the DV411 and we're going to change from uh, ratio of 1 to 0.9. And we see 9.0000 volts. Let's go to point 8. 8.0000. Little flash. Here we are at uh, point 7. So we get 7.0001.
a nice stable one there. So 6.0001 to 2. So it's one and a half, maybe. 5.0001. Here's the point four setting. This would be 4.000. I'm going to. It's a one to a two. Alright, point three setting and we've got three point zero 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 with a flashing one. Two point zero 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 and one point zero 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 zero. And that's the end of the first decade. And we go to the outer ring and we go from <coughs> Uh, point 0.1 multiplier or divider to point 0.8, <coughs> point 0.9, excuse me. And we get point 0.9000 zero, zero, zero volts, point 0.8000 zero, zero, zero volts, point 0.7000 zero, zero, zero volts, <coughs> point 0.6000 zero, zero, zero. Point five zero 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 point four zero 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 point three zero 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 point two zero 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 and point one zero zero zero. Now we go to the third decade, which is the outer ring on the right side, and we go to from Point zero one to point uh, zero nine. We get point nine zero 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 volts. Point zero eight zero zero. Point zero seven zero zero. Point zero six zero zero. Point zero five zero zero. Point zero four zero zero. Point zero three zero zero. Point zero two zero zero point zero one zero zero and that's the end of that decade and then finally we have the the last decade is um, a potentiometer a precision pot and we're going to have to bounce up and down to be able to read the dial on the pot properly um, But we'll do it. All right, right now we're at point zero 0.01. We're going to go to the point zero zero 0.009 setting, and we've got point zero zero 0.0090 volts. And I'm going to do it a try here. Up there, point zero zero eight zero. Point zero zero seven zero. Point zero zero six zero. Point zero zero five zero. Point zero zero four zero. Zero zero three zero 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 two zero 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 one zero. There we are. So there's four decades of, of division right there and most of the numbers were dead on. We'll go ahead and calculate the error here on the paper. So hang tight. Okay, well, we listed the test results. 
Uh, for today's uh, testing, this was March 19th, 2017. Um, and we ran our, uh, our voltage from 10 volts all the way down to 0 0.001 volts. Um, and we see that uh, with the the primary digits uh, in the decades of concern, utilizing those and taking a look at the errors, our maximum error we really only had one, two, three, four, five points of error, all of them within the first uh, the first decade of uh, resistance. That'd be the maximum uh, resistance decade, and the worst error was 0.005. Uh, percent which is the maximum tolerance of the unit all of the others were considerably less and uh, the majority of the uh, error was zero uh, using just the uh, the digits of concern so the unit seems to have worked very well I'll provide this uh, this test document uh, along with the uh, the unit should you um, bid and receive it. And uh, happy bidding. Thanks for listening.